So I'm heading out tomorrow on a father-daughter mission trip. We've done this for about 10 years to New Orleans. We're going to St. Michael's Special Needs School. We have a big group, our biggest ever. We have 17 dads, 20 daughters, and two priests. I think there's a girl as well from New Orleans who's going to be joining us, one of the daughters. So we're, we should be at 40. And the goal is to essentially give our love to these children who have autism and Down syndrome and allow these dads and daughters to bond in a meaningful way. I'm giving the homily on Friday, so I actually have a niece with Down syndrome and a nephew with autism. And I thought I would call my nephew. His name is Nick, Nick Sliney. And I said, Nick, you know, what should I say to all these autistic and Down syndrome children? And there was silence on the phone. Usually he, <laughs> he has a hard time communicating in his own way, but there was silence. I said, oh no, he's, he's, he doesn't have a thought. And then he did. After about 10 seconds, he said this. He said, Uncle Mike, sometimes the way you are born is what God actually wants from you. He wants to use the way you are born. There is something special about you that people may not realize at first. You can help people in ways that they would not expect. It's really beautiful coming from an autistic nephew who has a Down syndrome sister. And he's probably benefited from that experience as well. And I guess, you know, coming from that world, having a brother who's been in that world as a deacon, I just really want to share that with as many people as possible because it's a beautiful world. These are little angels. They're little pure souls. So happy, so joyful. And I can't wait to experience this gift and give this gift to these dads and daughters. So please pray for us. And I will be back on Sunday. God bless you.